Well, as we head into the holiday season, one of the most popular things for people, of course, is chocolates. And if you were looking for a bean to bar, artisan chocolate place. Jojo Coco Chocolates in Canada is the place to go. They have some of the best chocolate from Canada and around the world. I have a love for chocolate and wherever my travels took me I always you know sought out those great chocolate makers and chocolatiers and so I thought well maybe I could do something with that. So the niche that I looked for was something that was kind of more on that artisan side. There was a big movement in the in and people looking for craft products, craft beer, craft cheeses, those types of things. And just at that point, the chocolate world was turning that way. So you had a little bit of this disruption happening. We called it a chocolate revolution where people were saying, "I don't need all this other stuff in my chocolate. I just want chocolate." So these bean to bar chocolate makers as they're referred to, they buy their beans directly from farmers and they make their chocolate based on the flavor of the bean not by adding other things and this kind of started as a movement in North America which is kind of unusual for chocolate because usually everything comes from Europe um, so the movement started in North America and there are some real pioneers there that just kind of pushed that through and then you know fast forward eight to ten years and we have over a hundred bean to bar chocolate makers in Canada alone so it doesn't take much for me to fill my store. And if you're a foodie and you're looking for something craft related, this is the place for you. So basically we keep most of our bean to bar chocolate on this side of the store. Uh, this is the biggest part of our business actually. And um, we try to highlight the different uh, chocolate makers rather than where their beans are from or that type of thing. Because they're all new brands to a lot of people, it's nice to kind of keep them in a nice tight package. So you go from um, Hummingbird, our local chocolate maker, um, our rock star, um, and we go along the wall here right through to international bars. And then if we were to swing to the other side, what you're going to see on the other side is more of the confection side of things. So chocolate covered toffee or cherries or um, just truffles. And then the cabinet at the back, that's where the really beautiful special truffles come in every other week and we'll box up uh, your custom order for you. The newer thing that we're doing actually is curating boxes. So we do put packages of boxes of bars that are collections. Um, and I would base that like one's called the ultimate milk collection. So it's six milk chocolate bars that would represent really great chocolate makers who are doing really interesting bars. And so you can buy that collection. Is Christmas busy for us? Yes, it is. Um, we shall see what this year brings, mind you. Um, it's usually our biggest season. It lasts about two weeks in December. It's often the last thing that people think about purchasing or it's that small gift they wanna to give to somebody. Uh, but this year we're doing appointments um, so people can come in when the store is op not open and they feel more comfortable. And a lot of them are already saying, this is the gift I'm giving everybody. So we'll see. I'm, I think it's gonna be a very different holiday season for sure. So we were very fortunate in that we got a grant from the Digital Main Street organization uh, to build a website, an e-commerce website. We had just finished that in February. So we initially were just gonna do those curated collections that I talked about and really still focus on our brick and mortar. We just wanted to get started on it, but we needed to move fast, so we did. And so we had um, I have two uh, employees and so what we did was we changed the store over to like a shipping and receiving thing. Um, put all, all of our Easter product online and um, offered local delivery to the Ottawa community. And so we have a really good loyal customer. We took advantage of that and we told them what we were doing. Um, and you know, we had locked the doors and shut the doors and we didn't open them again until May. So we went through a number of uh, chocolate holidays, um, whether it would be Easter or Mother's Day. There were lots of people looking to send stuff to people. So as shocking as it was to have to make that big pivot to going from, oh yeah, we'll sell a few things online to, oh, now we have to sell everything online. Um, we did it, we, you know, you do what you have to do. It's been more my store events that have been impacted other than the community events. There's the community events are large, but they're, you know, they're maybe two or three times a year. We would run chocolate and wine pairing events, chocolate and scotch pairing events, chocolate and cheese pairing events, and we would put 12 people in here and 
sell tickets for it and serve them and go through a really fun event. Well, I can't put 12 people in here anymore. Um, and the good thing about those events was there were often people who hadn't been here before. And so they experienced the store and got to know me. And so it was also a great marketing tool to have those events. So they, they basically went away. People asked why we weren't doing it virtually. And I just couldn't get my head wrapped around how much fun would it be for 12 people to sit in their own living rooms and, you know, have chocolate. Um, but we are, we have booked a corporate one, so we are going forward with that and we'll see how that goes. But virtual events are the wave of the future, I think, so got to get on board. We're still doing local deliveries. We're still doing curbside pickup. Um, and as I said earlier, going into the holiday season, we're going to do appointment shopping so people can feel more comfortable coming in where it's just me and them and masks and we're good. Well, I did sample a lot of that Jojo Coco chocolates, but don't worry, I did leave some for the rest of you. That does it for this week's episode of Operation Support Local. I want to encourage you again, as you're, we head into the holiday season, you're looking for that perfect gift for someone on your list, make sure you look local first. And of course, gift cards are a great idea around this time of year. That does it for this episode. You can visit rogerstv.com to find out more information and the full schedule. We'll see you next week.